my name is Yarina and today I think I want to talk about are you an artist? This is one of the questions that haunted me all my life and I think it's essential to address. I made this channel in order to motivate people the same way other people motivated me and helped me discover my passion, so I want to answer now this question. Being an artist is something that has nothing to do with an art degree, with what you know. I think being an artist is what you are and how you feel. I remember how sad I was because I had all these wonderful ideas, but my hand didn't want to listen to me. This can usually motivate people, but for me, that was the end, at least for a while. I had to numb my passion and stop drawing for years until I could not ignore it anymore. I think stopping this calling was also hard on my mental health. I started the healing process and I returned to drawing. When you are an artist, you have a huge passion for everything related to it, but sometimes fear of failure can make you avoid your passion. I remember how much I used to love buying drawing and art supplies, but avoiding using them. I still have this issue a little right now. I still have to convince myself to use them. I look at them like they are a treasure for me. You know you are an artist, when is it easier to do it instead of not doing it? I remember, I don't remember exactly where did I read that, but I have to admit that I feel that this is somehow true. Most people ignore these feelings because they were instructed to focus only on occupations that can bring a secure income in the, in the future, but this is something that is fueling depression, especially my depression. I have a lot of friends who realize in their 30s that art is something that makes them happy, I being one of them. I think we are all very very happy right now with our development for our passion but somehow i also think that we would love to go back in time and never stop drawing or writing or painting because if you if you look back you would have 10 years advanced as experience and you could do it so much easier than right now when you have to focus more and understand more about that subject. You could have 10 years more experience and I find this a little frustrating because I would love to have those 10 years experience in my bag right now. Those would mean like additional time in which I could perfect it my portrait, something that I'm really struggling with it right now and I'm trying to to learn it and make it perfect. I have friends who would love to write, I have friends who who love to travel and make photography, so I think all of us would have appreciated to have that additional time. This is the reason why I did this channel, because I want people to continue to stay motivated and fight for their passions. I understand also the point of view that you need to focus on a secure income, but I also think that we should not throw everything we are passionate about and just focus for the money because money cannot buy mental health. They can buy pills, they can buy art supplies, but they can never buy health. Please continue to draw and pursue your passion. I think it's never too late to start. Even if you're 40 and you realize that you are really, really passionate about drawing, it's not too late to start drawing. For me, it was also that feeling that maybe it's too late, but it's not. I'm learning every day as much as I can, and I think the progress I'm making is amazing. I am looking forward in the future when I could make, I don't know, maybe another drawing page, or I can have a gallery uh, opening, I don't know. But please, please do not stop pursuing your passion.